It was 5.22 and I was still in the office. I'm usually out the door at 5, but sometimes exceptions need to be made. In this case, the exception was a curvy little tease named Susan Barling. They say he died in his sleep. A 36-year-old man, he eats healthy, he jogs every day. You don't just die. So you think he was poisoned? I know he was. I was a journalist and he was doing a big story on all the fish on the California coast testing positive for radioactive cesium. Right. From Fukushima. Of course. This broad was speaking in tongues, but you had to hand it to her. She had gusto. The Rock House Fish Company heard about the article two days before he died. They even tried to bribe him. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Right? She didn't get the pun, but something told me this taut little squeeze was up for anything. So, will you take the case? Why not? Thank you. She was a doozy, all right. Legs up to her tits, and that look in her eyes that said, hey, bend me over the desk. I'm up for it. Boy, was she ever. The night was young, so I decided to give my secretary some bruised knees. Baby, when are you going to leave your wife? She still thought I was married, and who was I to argue with her? Probably next month. And then it's just you and me, right? You know it. Even though I just shot a monster load, something about my new client was keeping me hard. The Rockhouse Fish Company was worth millions, and my rep needed a fresh shot of credibility since I'd been framed last year. Roll over, baby. I'm turning in. Yeah, something told me this was going to be the case of my career. Detective, I just found this in the back of our fridge. He was hiding it. Could that be something? It just might. I'll take my boys out there right now. In fact, there's a sweet little Greek place just outside the reservoir. Maybe after I do some sniffing, we can get together and talk progress. Okay. Women. They don't know what they want till you slap their tits and explain it to their ass. I had no idea what we were looking for. But that's why I let my assistants choke me for a quarter of my salary. Yeah, you chumps comb the perimeter. Uh, I'm going to take a leak. I knew I needed to find something good out here. Not only for the sake of the case, but if I was about to get this widow damp, I was going to have to pull out all the stuff. I need to get gas! Hi, Detective. It's Susan. I'm at that Greek place. This is Bing Schuster. I need to see the doctor right away. All right, drop him. Oh. It does look like there's some retraction here. You can tell. It looks smaller. Oh, I mean... Oh, yes, yes, look, see? Yeah, definitely a little different, too. When were those taken? Do you remember me taking these? Do I? Oh, you definitely remember. Mm -hmm. Do you want some Viagra? Would that help? Mm.
Boss, you are not gonna believe some of the stuff we just found. I don't care, get in here and bring Danny. Oh, what's up? Does it look smaller than normal? I've never really seen it before. But does it look shrunken? No, not badly. It was bigger than this yesterday. You know, I really don't think it looks small. Yeah, it's good. I'm not asking like that. It didn't used to be like this. Yeah, I see what you mean. You know what? Fuck you, never mind. Get back to work. Oh, but just, hey. How do I speed up the footage? Hey, baby. What the fuck are you doing here? I was just touching myself under my desk and I thought you might like crack at it. Hey, isn't the phone ringing? Nope. I think it is. I've been practicing my kegels. But you really should stay at the desk. I'm waiting for an important call. Oh, let's go to the bathroom. We need to keep working. This case is getting serious. You know how when you ignore me, it just gets me wet up. Oh, is it scared of me? I just want to be friends. God damn it, bitch! Don't you get it? I'm a professional! I believe you've crossed paths with the Fox Spirit. If you wish, I can give you a potion. And yeah, we could beat the evil out of you. Okay. It's not stopping. I'm sorry. You could maybe try some sort of a uh, mechanical penile traction. How? Anchoring it to something? How? I'm sorry. Hello? Uh... Bing? Baby? No, wait, stop! Just one second! I... Why? What are you doing? It's not what it sounds like! It's... I can't fucking believe this! Who's in here? What are you doing? It won't stop shrinking. Please tie it tight. Won't it hurt, though? I don't care. It needs to be tight. It's like a mushroom. Fuck. It feels like it's flushing down. Ah! Tie it. Tie it. I can't. You keep shrinking out of it. Oh, Jesus. We need, like, a clamping thing. What clamping thing? Something that clamps. Uh, oh, no. It's going down. No, stop it. It's going inside. It's going inside. Pull it out! I can't! Pull it out! I can't! Oh, please, no, please! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Ah! <laughs> it's inside.
Boss? You in there? We saw your car outside. You gotta come out here and look at this. Boss, this thing is huge. Rock House is so in bed with the Japanese government. We have the documents, the contracts. But, but, but the real thing? We had a bunch of Rock House tunas checked out, and like half had over 10,000 back rolls of cesium per kilo. That's like a hundred times the safety standard. And